This is how you can take screenshots of websites using your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by buying a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube here, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a per personalized custom discord bot and if this is of interest to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video so we can go ahead and start by going over to our code file and we're going to go over to community and we can go ahead and create webss.js in here we're going to get our slash command builder we're also going to get our attachment builder and we're going to get our embed builder and then we do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js next we can do const puppeteer equals require and we're going to go ahead and get the puppeteer package so you do have to do MPM I puppeteer in your terminal for this to work. So then after doing that, we can do module.exports and we can do equals. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna go ahead and create a new slash command builder. So we can go ahead and set a name. For me, I'm gonna do web screenshots just to make it a little bit more clear instead of web SS. Uh, then we can go ahead and say a description and we can go ahead and say take a screenshot of a uh, website. And we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name. This is going to be our website. So then we can go ahead and say a description. We can go ahead and say the website to take a screenshots of. And we're also gonna go ahead and set required to true, and just like this. We can add a comma and do async executes. We're gonna go ahead and pass in our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. And here we're gonna go ahead and defer a reply. And the reason we're doing this is because technically you can take a screenshot of any website there is on the internet. So obviously some of these screenshots might not be very safe for a big server to see. So we can just hide it to only you. That way we don't actually have to filter down any of the websites. So we can do await interaction, but defer reply. And we can go ahead and open this up. We're gonna go ahead and set informal to true. We can do const options and we're gonna go ahead and set that equal to our interaction. We can also do const websites equals options that get string. And this is going to be our website string. Then we can go ahead and try because we are gonna get some errors if the website is invalid and we're going to do const browser and we can do await and we can do puppeteer.launch. Next, we can go ahead and make a page. So we can do const page equals await browser and we can do dot new page. So basically all this is going to be done with the package. Then we can actually go to that page. So we can do await page dot go to and we're going to go ahead and get our website. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and take the screenshot. So basically, we've launched a new browser. We've made a new page in the browser. So basically a new tab. And then right here, we went to the page. So now basically, we're all set up to take that screenshot. So we can do const screenshots equals await page dot screenshots. Then we can go ahead and close the browser because we don't want to leave the browser open. So we can do await browser dot close just to finish that off. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take this screenshot and we're gonna buffer it so that we can actually put it within an embed. So we can do const buffer equals buffer.form and we can do screenshots and we're gonna get our base 64. Then we can go ahead and convert this to a Discord attachment. So we can do const attachment equals new attachment builder. And we're gonna go ahead and get our buffer and we can get our name. So this is going to be the file name. I'm just gonna do image.png. It doesn't really matter what you put. Just make sure it's a PNG or a JPEG. Then we can go ahead and create our embed. So you can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're gonna go ahead and set a color. For me, this is going to be blurple. And we can go ahead and set an image. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do attachment. And we can go ahead and write this out. We're gonna go ahead and do our image.png. So we're gonna do attachment and we're gonna do colon two forward slashes here. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and put in whatever name you put uh, for your image. So it's gonna be identical to this up here and you're just gonna wanna put that after the slash. So then we can go ahead and send this. So we're gonna do a wait interaction to edit reply and we can go ahead and get our embeds. We're gonna go ahead and get our embed and we can just go ahead and attach our files. So we're gonna do files and we're gonna go ahead and get our attachment. So we're basically putting it within the embed and we're making sure it's attached. This is Discord's way of writing files into embeds. So then after doing that, we're gonna go ahead and catch an error. So we can go ahead and catch an error. We can go ahead and open this up and we're just gonna go ahead and do a wait to interaction to edit reply and we can go ahead and get content. I'm gonna open up some emojis here. I'm gonna get the caution one and then we can go ahead and say there it was an error getting that screenshot. We can say try again with a valid websites 
And after doing that, we can just go ahead and finish that off and we are actually done. Now, before we actually go ahead and test this out, there is one more thing that you could actually go ahead and do. So under here, right before we take the screenshots, we could do await page set and we could do view port. And this is where we're going to go ahead and set our dimensions. So we can go ahead and do our width and this is going to be 1920 and then we can do height and we can do 1080. If you do this and you make the dimensions bigger, you're gonna get a full screenshot of the website. And this is nice because it's gonna give you everything on the page, but sometimes uh, the website is not gonna fully render in the time that it takes to actually get the screenshot. So what I mean by that is when you open up YouTube, for example, all these videos might not actually be rendered, so the thumbnails might look white, for example, just because it's a bigger screenshot and it doesn't have time to render the entire thing. However, I think that this is way, way nicer to have because it gives you a complete screenshot of the website and not just like a square blocked off part of it. So after doing that, we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. We're gonna go ahead and get our website screenshot command and we can go over to YouTube. Obviously, we'll do my channel first and we can go ahead and put that channel URL in there and as you can see it's going to go ahead and think for a bit and once it's done it's going to give you your screenshot now like i said before some of the videos were not rendered in now that's just what's going to happen when you're doing this the reason for this is because the api cannot open up this website uh, and render the entire thing in faster than it actually takes a screenshot but it does usually work so let's say we were to go to discord.com we can go ahead and copy that url and we can go ahead and put that in here as you can see it's going to give us basically the entire screenshot another thing we could try is photo p this is where i make my thumbnails we can go ahead and put this in and we can go ahead and get web screenshots we can go ahead and put that command in there and as you can see here it's going to give you the photo p now Photo P does have an ad at the top. For some reason, I never get this, but it did render in the entire screenshot. The last thing that we can go in and try is the discord.js guide. Um, so we can go ahead and get our web screenshot. We can go ahead and put that in. And once it's done rendering, as you can see, it's going to give us the screenshot of the discord.js website. Now, this one, I think, shows the best result because it shows the entire page and it's very clear and the entire thing is rendered in. So this is the best example of this command just so you know. So that's you can make a web screenshot command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.